Hi everyone and welcome to the MailChimp's Pro Tips video. Now, if you're watching this video, uh, just make sure that you first watch the first video in this series, which is the introduction to MailChimp. But if you've watched that, then, and you're still here, then I'm thrilled because it means that you have taken a couple of big steps on the path to nerd them. Now, this video is really just uh, an opportunity for me to pass on uh, three of the tips I have to take your MailChimp game to the next level. So sit back and let's get into them. Okay, pro tip number one is all about integrating Wufu and MailChimp. Now, I want you to cast your mind back to the first video. And the very first thing that we did when we got into MailChimp was to import our data. And the way we did that was to go to Wufu, to export our data, to save the spreadsheet, to open the spreadsheet. We copied the data and we pasted it into MailChimp. Now, it's not very difficult, but it is time consuming. And every time you want to send a newsletter or an email using MailChimp, you're going to want to make sure that your list is up to date. And so to go through that process every single time is going to be time consuming. So fortunately, there is this really awesome integration. Uh, what we can do is we can automate it so that every time somebody fills out our, our uh, online form using Wufu, uh, we can have that data automatically added to our MailChimp list. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. Okay, so jump back into your Wufu account where you've got your form set up. Um, and now we're going to go back to the newsletter sign-up form that we created a few weeks ago. All you need to do is come down into notifications. Now, here is where you can tell the form to email you if there's a form submission to text your phone number. What we want to do there is just click into this other application box at the end. From there, we can choose MailChimp. So we go add integration. Choose connect to MailChimp. We're going to log in. So it's connected to our account. If we go back to Wufu, so you can see here, so it's now connected to our MailChimp account. So it's choosing our newsletter subscribers list, which is one that we created earlier in this session. We want to send all new entries to list, and then we want to match the fields. And so this is just matching our Wufu form to the columns in our MailChimp list. Email address. Well, that's the email field. The first name, that's just the first name field. The last name, that's the last name field. Mobile, that's the mobile phone. We match the news to the news checkbox, the competitions to the competitions checkbox, and the events to the events checkbox. And we save it. And that's going to automate everything for us. And so now whenever anybody fills out our form, they automatically get added to our MailChimp list. Okay, so pro tip number two. Uh, one of the great things about this product is that there are really well-developed uh, mobile apps for both Android and iOS. And so if you want to get super geeky, well, then you can monitor the performance of your campaigns uh, using the MailChimp app. You can actually get live updates as people open the mail and you can see how it performs. And so if you're really into the data, then the MailChimp app is totally awesome. Um, even uh, even if, if you're not, then you can view your past campaigns and that kind of thing. So it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, project number three, becoming a segment ninja. So to demonstrate this one, I'm going to jump back into MailChimp for a moment. Now, if you remember back to the uh, mail merge example that we um, did recently, uh, we did look at sending to a segment there. Now, a segment, remember, is just a, a, a small part of our overall mailing list. And so it's people that conform to a particular criteria. And so it may be people with a phone number or people who want to know about competitions. And so uh, the segments and what segments enable us to do is to send more targeted communications uh, to customers. So let's start by having a look at our list in MailChimp. So you can see here, we've got a list of people um, who have told us that they're interested in news. Some of them are interested in competitions and some of them are interested in events. So what we can do is we can create a segment of our list, uh, which will only send to people who are interested in say competitions or events. And so let's go through that process now. Now you can make any number of segments up to uh, address your list. We're just gonna go through and create one as an example. So you just come to this option here, segments and go create new segment. 
Now this is where you need to give it the criteria that are going to determine the people that are going to receive the email um, sent to this particular segment. And so what we want here is we want to create a segment that we can send people information about competitions. And so he will choose the competitions field um, and competition so that anybody who's interested in competitions, then the value of this of this column is going to be competitions. So we preview the segment and we can see there that our list has gone down to only now eight subscribers which match their segment. You can see here they've all got competitions uh, in this interest column. So we can simply save that segment. Now um, we'll call it something logical like interest competitions. This tick box here for auto update just means that if we leave it ticked then anybody in future who has uh, is interested in competitions they'll automatically be added to this segment. So we want to tick that. That's great. Okay. Okay, so the next time you send a campaign, you'll have the option either to send it to your whole list or just to that segment. And I'll show you what I mean. So create campaign and say we wanted to do a regular campaign for about a new competition that we were running. And so here we have the option to either send to the entire list or to send to a saved segment. And this is where we can choose those people who are really interested in competitions. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the pro tip session. And remember, if you want to learn how to get insight into the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns, remember to check out the video on stats and reporting. Bye-bye.